All right, so I don't usually make guides for the event boss battles, but I thought I would just give you a two turn guide that's really, really fast and you're only going to use three skill cards and there's like no RNG involved. Now, the only reason I'm really doing it is because you kind of have to do at least five of these runs every day for five days to get all the rewards, but at least for four days to get the Hawk Jump Box ticket rewards as well as like get enough material so that you can buy all the things in the shop and especially the Hawk Jump Box tickets because uh, they are kind of important if you kind of want to, of course, get Freyer and uh, this. Uh, sort of special ticket here as well where you can get one of the seasonal units here now the team i'm about to show you is just a team i kind of wanted to do because i kind of wanted to use the new ban there might be better teams of course but this is the team we're gonna go with now Kyo, i only have him here for his debuffs he's gonna be able to apply four debuffs because i do have his holy relic as well roxy is only here for her passive and i did put like melee here on her so she does have quite a lot of like attack uh, you can just slap on whatever units that are gonna give her the most attack i give them appropriate gear i don't think this melee does have a appropriate gear anyway but it doesn't really matter Escanor here you just want him to crit so just put Merlin there and Ban I only have sorry link on him so that with his first attack he will be able to debuff the boss so he does get seven debuffs now I am eating attack food but if you find that attack food is not enough for you if you want to try this team out you can go into the gift and snatch event here and you can buy this thing that's going to give you an additional 20% attack for five event boss battle runs so basically you can buy this once every day and you'll be able to clear this uh, within two turns if your account isn't uh, as built out as mine i do have like 10 million box easy so that's where my stats are coming from as well for bond specifically i don't actually have a attack crit set for him so he's just running borrowed gear but this is like 14.5 percent 14.8 percent rolls it's not the perfect rolls but it's it's you know it gets the job done anyway everyone is of course running attack crit i think yeah it's just borrowed gear roxy has her own and eskinor has his own and the card set just auto set to hp nothing fancy but it gets the job done and the whole purpose of like this video is just to you know show you how you can do it real quickly now this isn't gonna be like an afk run i don't think you can do it in afk because i'm pretty sure ban doesn't use this card first turn um like maybe it works in afk like of course it's probably gonna work in afk let's just see here yeah he does he uses this card first he doesn't use this card but for this run specifically we're just gonna use three cards and it's gonna be this one this one and this one so we just use the, these two cards and then we pass to skill uses and this is just to show you that you don't really need rng for this so you deal a little bit of damage there you're probably gonna crit and deal a little bit of extra damage there with roxy and then you either kill him or deal just enough damage to where Roxy can kill him. So that's turn one. And then turn two, you just do one Eskinor finger poke and you pass four skill card users. So Eskinor is going to kill here because he does get the 30% additional increase to his, uh, his HP. We're just going to have a look at his HP. I do believe he has the highest HP, so that's why he was able to deal a lot more damage there as well. Yeah, out of these units, he has the highest HP. Just make sure that Eskinor has the highest HP uh, in any way you can. Either put like HP defense gear on him or attack crit. I still think he kills in one hit with HP defense gear. I'm not sure. If he doesn't, again, run the gift and snatch buff that gives you... 20% attack. But yeah, just to show you how fast this is, and I'm just gonna put Eskinor here so we don't accidentally get the silver card uh, merger, I guess. Because this boss is generally annoying, uh, so you kind of want Eskinor to have the highest HP anyway, so that he gets the 30% attack buff, and the other ones get a 80% damage decrease, if it's 80% attack decrease or whatever it is. And that's why it's kind of nice to bring a unit, or generally it used to be, to bring a unit with like a cleanse or something, but for this purpose, it, like, it doesn't really matter, because uh, you can basically just two-shot him. If your account isn't built up, of course try to just run a team uh, that can kill him well within one or two or three however many turns you want to like do it in just bring like strong units and a cleanser for the second phase and you should be fine but yeah just do know that once you actually transition into the second phase you will be applied with the debuffs on all units except for the one with the highest hp if say the first phase takes you more than one turn to kill then the boss might attack some units and then say the, he attacks Eskinor for whatever reason, then Eskinor might not be the one with the highest HP on the next turn, so you, you do want to keep that in mind as well. For this specific team, I feel like this is the fastest team, if you're actually playing it, because you're just using three cards and then you're clicking these, well, empty card slot uses, or empty card slots or whatever, and it's basically faster skip using a card than to click and use the card, because clicking and using the card takes like half a second extra for like the card to register, and then before you can actually transition into the next turn, the card slots here have to like dump the cards, right? So it takes just a little bit extra time but if you just do it like this you know and click that as you saw applying the two cards took longer than like clicking the two crossing out the two empty card slots so yeah anyway that's the video hope you found this guide helpful thanks for watching hope you have a most wonderful rest of your day yeah luck with your farming bye